that makes you wonder, you know, if you go through, and I will relate this to Israel right now, because Israel today, at least under the leadership of Netanyahu, has become just the most evil, vile, uh, antichrist nation on the planet, and not, not even pretending to follow what God demands of them. You know, in the Old Testament, God would always berate Israel for doing things like making up their own laws or, you know, not honoring the lives of others and breaking their covenant with God, turning against God. All these violations that Israel just routinely, repeatedly engaged in. And you know what? Nothing's changed. The Israel of today has turned against God more severely, more atrociously than at any time in in the Old Testament. The Israel of today in 2024 is an affront to God and the teachings of God. And what's funny to me, well, a little bit horrifying, is how many Zionist Christians in America who somehow still support Israel, apparently they never read something called the New Testament. Barak the Yehovah, Barak the Yehovah Shai, giving all praises, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father, whose name is Yehovah, and the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Yehovah Shai, and the Rekak Wadash, which is the Holy Spirit. As always, you know, double honors to our apostles, our elders and leaders, our the teachers, of the Church of Great Millstone that taught us his true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and who are ruling well, shalom, peace, and love be unto you, prophets, uh, you Akim, that are helping to edify the elect of the nation of Israel, and shalom be unto uh, you sincere believers uh, that are out there. You know, these devils, all right, these small hatters, all right, these uh, small caps are proven every day how they're not the chosen people of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And if you, until this day, think that they are, you are blinder than Stevie Wonder with seven, you know, uh, 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 blindfolds on, you know, and the, the world's blackest sunglasses on top of that. So anyways, you know, I was listening to... Um, your boy Mike Adams, you know, over at Bratian, you know, broadcast news. And there was a um, a video that he did August 5th, 2024, the hopeful year of the time of Jacob's trouble. And the title of the video is Bratian broadcast news, August 5th, 2024, world war, China and Russia will defend Iran against Israel and the U.S., and around like the the twelve minute mark, somewhere around that, you know, he begins to st speak about the the small headers, and um, the way that he's speaking about them, you could tell that he believes that they're the chosen people, but he believes that they're wicked, and then he also believes that, you know, salvation is open up until other nation, you know, there's no salvation for any other nations outside of the true Israelites, all right, and the elects of the nation of Israel, which the true Israelites are the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, so-called Seminole Indians, which the Native Americans and Seminole Indians are not the same people. The Native Americans is the tribe of Gad, and the Seminole Indians are from the tribe of Reuben. But however, all of them make up the, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, amongst them, and then you have the Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth because it was prophesied that the Heavenly Father would scatter the Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth and that they will forget who they are. They wasn't going to hold on to the knowledge of who they, they were, you know, forever. There was going to be a forgetfulness. All right. That's the reason why the scripture speaks about the falling away. You know, our people forgot who they were. And um, as these small hatters held us in slavery, they made it their purpose, all right, for the purpose of fathers not being able to teach their children who they were. They separated the families, thus fulfilling the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, that thy sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. The book of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4, and 
even thyself, Salakia, and thou, even thyself, shalt dis discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. All right, so the Heavenly Father caused us to forget who we were and also scattered us into a land all right, that we knew not of. Now, the video is going to play in the beginning, you know, all of the things that Mike Adams was saying concerning these small hats, which he's right. You know, they are the most wicked people upon the planet Earth. You know, they are pushing that anti-Messiah vibration in the earth. Okay, there's not one singular anti-Messiah or anti-Christ. There are multiple. Okay, and they're the ones that are the bankers. They are the, the ones that are running the show. You know, they're the ones that are large and in charge right now. But however, it's a fall, a, a, a long fall all right, from the top. Now, just to further add, you know, to the things that he was saying concerning them, because some of the things were true, but, but he's wrong about them being the Heavenly Father's people, because they're not the cho chosen people. And they are displaying that in the fact that mercy has been shown unto them and they've been allowed to occupy the land. All right. They've been allowed to, you know, get the land into their possession. But however, within the land of uprightness. Up all right. Because in order to dwell in that land, you have to keep the laws. All right. And it shows you that within the book of uh, Second Kings. All right. With the with the Samaritans. All right. And how when they were brought, you know, from that region over near Assyria. And they were brought into the land. They didn't know the customs of the Most High Heavenly Father. They didn't know the laws of the land. So they were in the land serving their idols and doing their bullshit. And lo and behold, the Heavenly Father jacked their asses up by sending lions to eat their ass. So a Levite had to come and teach them how to keep the laws and commandments. And eventually they began to believe that they were they was us. But that's another story for another day. So when you're in this land. There's a certain uh, way you have to conduct yourself. Otherwise, the land will spew you out. You know, so they call themselves a the chosen people and they and they, you know, keep some some things, you know. But however, in their actions and in their doings, because they're over there doing things that are completely defiling the land. And this is the reason why it got to be burned with fire. It got to be burned with fire. All right, because that land is completely polluted all right, under these noses, all right, these nose hatters that are over there. All right, those ewes, all right, the schnouts. Anyways, Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor be shown unto the wicked. And I said mercy, I really meant favor. So let favor be shown unto the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. And in the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So they are wicked. They are completely wicked, you know. And the only thing that you can learn from them is how to cheat, you know, how to uh, 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 do usury, you know, how to you know, uh, uh, up the price on things, you know, triple the price, quadruple it, you know, to get richer, you know, how to scheme, how to commit plots, you know, porn. All right. How to be a, 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 a demon. Those are the only things that they're, that they're learning. All right. Or showing it to the world. Now, this is a, a, um, a tweet. From a guy named CEO Lawyer. And he's speaking on a situation that happened in uh, Israel in regards to these the, the IDF, which is the Israel, Israel, Israeli Defense Force. And that's what they are. They're Israelis. Israeli is an inhabitant or an occupier of the land. 
All right, they're not Israelites. All right, they're Edomites. They're Amalekites. All right, that are imitating us. All right, and it was fulfilled. Uh, um, they they helped to fulfill the prophecy. You know, uh, the scriptures say that a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. All right, what is a bastard? A bastard is a fatherless child. And usually they be children of the worser sort because they don't grow up with that discipline from the father. So they're pretty much willful and they do whatever the hell that they want. And this devil has the ability to do whatever the hell that he want because his earth is given into his possession to rule over it at the moment. But it's about to be snatched out of his grips. So reading this tweet, it says video footage of IDF soldiers uh, graping an unarmed Palestinian man have been released. So these low base demons, you know, is over there graping Palestinian men. All right. Tell me where in the Torah does it does it say that a man can do that to his enemy, you know, to humiliate him? All right, in which they didn't do that just to humiliate the enemy. They did that for their pleasure because they're sickos. So if you knows, you knows. The Palestinian hostage was uh, diagnosed with a torn rectum, punctured lung, ruptured bowels, and broken ribs. He's now paralyzed. The next day, a mob of Israeli settlers attacked the prison because the grapists was was uh, were arrested or the grapists were arrested the grapists were immediately released then israeli government held a a conference to discuss why israeli graping palestinians is justified so you tell me where at in the law that that's justified which shows you that they don't live by the law such and commandments of the heavenly father they go according to the torah i mean the uh the the Talmud, okay? They don't go according to the Torah. They go according to the Talmud, which is a bunch of uh, folly, you know, inside of the Talmud. Now, according to the law, which even though you don't keep it because you have taken it upon yourself, you know, to uh, act as if you're the Heavenly Father's chosen people and are living in the land, you are bound to the law. You are bound to the word of the Heavenly Father. All right, to keep it, but you will not keep it. As it states within the book of Psalms, you cast it far beyond you because it, it doesn't profit you. You know, you don't see any value in the words of the Heavenly Father. All right, and to uh, keep them. So this is the book of Leviticus 20 and 12. And if a man, I'm sorry, 20 and 13. And if a man lie with mankind, as he lieth with the woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. So technically, you know, this is what's supposed to happen. But these are the things that are going on in there. All right. Now, reading on in here, it says, Meanwhile, every U.S. government spokesperson says their support of Israel remains ironclad. So here it is. They're not condemning this shit. All right, but they're finding ways to justify it. Now, in regards to you even being in the land, all right, you got the land and established all right, a settlement in the land based upon what is known as a, 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 a the Balfour Declaration, which is a false declaration. All right, it's nothing more but the rich bankers appointing the land into their possession. All right, and, and, and setting up a settlement, you know, for people to move over there. But the place was very desolate, you know. So now you moved in the midst of your enemies and you don't get no peace. All right, the first day or the first night after y'all declared it a land, all right, for the uh, uh, um, small hatters, there was a great war that was fought. I believe it's called the Yom Kippur War. So this is the Balfour Declaration for an office, November 2nd, 1917. Dear Lord Rothschild, who are the, who are the Rothschilds? 
I have much pleasure in conveying to you on behalf of his majesty government, the following declaration of sympathy with, with J E W I S H Zionist. All right. Aspirations, which has uh, been submitted to and approved by the, the cabinet, his majesty government view with favor the establishment in Palestine of a normal home for the J people and will use their best endeavor to facilitate the achievement of this object. It is clearly understood that nothing I shall be done which may uh, prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing nine J's communities in Palestine or the rights and political uh, status enjoyed by J's in any other country. I should be grateful if you would bring this declaration to the knowledge of the Z Federation. So you see. All right. They appointed the land into their possession and thus fulfilling what the prophecy say that Esau Eden would do, which in this prophecy, all right, it mentions them as Idumia, but Idumia is nothing, nothing less than the Latin or Greek way of saying Edom. So this is the book of Ezekiel 36 and 5. It says, Therefore, thus said Yahweh, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. In the NLT, it says Edom, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their hearts, with the spitefulness of mine, to cast out, cast it out for a prey. So you appointed all right, the, the holy land for the children of Israel into your possession. You know? And all of this foul shit that's going on, you know, you got the moles over there in Tel Aviv. You got women on women, men on men. You got women talking about getting popped in the, in the, in the rectum. You know, you're graping, you know, Palestinian uh, um, prisoners of war. You know, you're, you're, you're graping, you know, women and children. You're doing all kind of bold and, and vile acts. All right, over there. All right, you're idol worshiping. You pushing, you know, porn. You know, you're, you're behind, you know, uh, uh, different sites like OF and, you know, uh, 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 P-Hub. You know, Pornhub or whatever, you know, different sites and you're making money off of that. But anything that you that that you could do to make you money, if it goes against the law, you find out a way to justify it. All right. Just like, you know, they grape, you know, this uh, Palestinian man, you know, tore his rectum, you know, damaged his insides, paralyzed, paralyzed the man, which is a horrible thing to experience. And that's judgment from the Heavenly Father. All right. You're doing horrible things over there, man. And you're finding ways to justify it. Now, going to the book of Micah, because when the true Israelites are establishing the land. Righteousness is going to flow from that land. All right. The law, such as the commandments of the heavenly father is going to flow from the priest. All right. That is going to make sure that all of these other nations are keeping it. And if you don't, you're going to be penalized. You're going to be jacked up. You're going to get effed up. The book of Zechariah all right, tells you the punishment that's going to come upon all the nations that don't want to serve the Heavenly Father. All right. And come up three times a year to keep uh, certain feasts and give offerings. So this is Micah 4 and 1. It says, but in the last days, it shall come to pass that the mouth, mountain of the house of Yahweh shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow into it. All right. So the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the government of the nation of Israel, beginning with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, is going to be established upon the earth. All right. And it's going to be based out of Israel, out of Jerusalem. And many nations shall come and say, come, let us go up to the mountain of, of Yahweh into the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion, 
and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. See? So when the true Israelites are establishing the land, our righteousness is going to be taught unto these other nations. All right? They're going to learn the ways of how to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and how to keep the laws. And if they don't, they're going to get fucked up. Reading order says, And many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go unto the mountain of Yahweh and to the house of the power of Jacob, for he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among the people and rebuke nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. For nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig, and none shall make them afraid. For my, the mouth of Yahweh have spoken it. So when we're in the land, there's not going to be any more war anymore. See, look, that land over there is full of violence. It's full of terror. All right, uh, um, people can't even enjoy themselves. There's a video, and it looked like two L's, too. You know, two, two uh, uh, L S bows. And basically, there was like a, a mortar or something, some kind of bomb that hit, you know, and it caused the people to panic. All right, these people are at panic. Their, their walls are not a, a salvation, and their gates isn't praise. All right, but the, lands are, the land is full of violence. Jumping down to uh, Zechariah uh, 4 and 8, it says, And Dalo tore a uh, tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. So right now, it's Esau's time to rule over. But eventually, Yahweh is going to come. There's going to be a great destruction via thermonuclear destruction, the elect is going to be gathered. And when they come down, they're going to come down as it is written within Revelation, the 21st chapter. And they're going to rule over and their kingdom shall not be given into another people. All right. This is the first resurrection, which is also the first dominion. All right. The elect of the children of Israel is going to rule over and the rest of the nations are not going to be able to have their lands, their own plot of lands, their own, you know, uh, um, things set up all right, until after a thousand years of slavery. Jumping down to verse 10, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go, go forth out of the city and thou shalt dwell in the field and thou shalt go even to Babylon and there shall thou be delivered there Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies all right so where are we going to be delivered from the scripture says that we're going to be delivered from babylon all right the great hole but as of right now all right that land is in peace and they're really terrified you know at the threats of iran because of the whole killing of you know, the Hamas chief, you know, in the land of Iran. So as the scriptures say, because when when a king. Go, uh, what does it say when a king go uh, go for warfare? Bear with me, Baba Kusha. I'm looking for the one in the book of Proverbs. Hopefully, um, it leads me to the one that I want. Matter of fact, I could just read it here. It says, oh, or what king? Going to make warfare against another king, sit if not down first and consulteth, whether he be able uh, with ten thousand to meet him that cometh 
against him with 20,000. So this is how, you know, presidents, you know, and kings or whatever determine on if they're going to fight or not. All right. <laughs> if that person is afar off and they know that they can't win, they might send, send an ambassador for conditions of peace, you know, and surrender. The book of Proverbs 25 and 8. Go not for, uh, let me see. Uh, Proverbs 20 and 18. Every purpose is established by counsel and with good advice, make war. You know, so, you know, maybe the, the war council over in Iran is telling them, no, not yet. But it's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Shah because this micro C hip. And the brain C hip has to be mass push all right, throughout the four corners of the earth. Because if they engage in war, that would definitely spark World War III. So the Heavenly Father has those angels working on the mind of the leadership over in Iran. So basically not yet. They are going to retaliate, but not yet. Now, heading over to the book of Isaiah. The 42nd chapter. In the 22nd verse. Which reads. It says, but this is a people robbed and spoil and all of them snared in holes and hid in prisons, prison houses. Uh, Salaki, that's not it. I'm reading Isaiah 42. Salaki about that. So uh, Isaiah 43 and 2. Uh, but thou has not called upon me, O Jacob. But thou has been weary of me, O Israel. Thou has brought me the small cattle of the burnt offerings. Thou has not brought me the small cattle of burnt offerings. Neither has thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have caused thee to serve with an offering nor weary with incense all right because we didn't serve the heavenly father like we were supposed to when we were in the land thou has brought me no sweet cane with money neither has thou filled me with the fat of the sacrifice sacrifices but thou has made me to serve with with thy sins thou has wearied me with with thine iniquities so we Got on the Heavenly Father's nerves, you know, with all of the sinning that we were doing. So what he did was he kicked us out of the fucking land. All right. He gave us the boot. You know, get the hell. You know how you kick a woman out. You know, you catch her uh, being inf uh, full of infidelity. All right. Bitch, you ain't taking nothing with you. Orange Juice Jones. I even I am am he that blotteth out the transgressions. For mine own sake, and will not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Thy first fathers have sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse. And Israel to reproaches. So right now the true Israelites are under the curse. All right. But however, when Yahweh come, that's going to be changed. And we're going to be put under the blessings. All right. We're going to be put under the blessings. All right. Which means that we're going to be allowed to get our lands back. This is the book of Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. Verse 7. Because all of these curses is going to come. Upon our enemies. Deuteronomy 30. And be in beginning at verse 4. And if any of thine be driven out. Unto the utmost parts of the heavens. From thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee. And from thence will he fetch thee. And Yahweh thy power will bring thee. Into the land which thy fathers pos uh, possessed. And thou shalt possess it. And he shall. Uh, so like, and he will do the good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And Yahweh thy power will circumcise thine heart 
in the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh power thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee which persecute thee so all of these curses is getting ready to go on our enemies and guess what we're going to be under the new covenant all right, Jeremiah 31 and 31 through 34. All right, we're going to be under the new covenant. All right, but however, all of these curses is going to be over our enemies. Now, <clears throat> going to the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter, verse 7. This is Isaiah 60 in verse 7. I'm waiting for it to load. Bear with me, Baba Kasha. All right. So for some reason, the blue letter uh, hasn't been working. So Isaiah 60 in 17, not 7, 17. It says, for brass, I will bring gold. And for iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, all right, and for stone, I will also make thy officers peace and thine exact is righteous. No, that's not it. Salakia. Oh, 1618. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land and wasted nor wasting uh, nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt be called the walls of salvation in the gates of praise. See, so <clears throat> there's violence that's being heard in the land. You know, these these so-called Muslim nations want to fuck you up and look at the things that you that you're doing. You know, graping men, you know, prisoners of war and all of that. Now, when it comes down to the true Israelites, the scriptures say that they're going to be oppressed all right, together within Babylon in the future. The book of Jeremiah 50, and I, I when I say the future, I mean the future from them back then. All right, not our future, all right, because we're getting ready to be delivered from Babylon. So this is the book of Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And, then, um, and all that took them captives held them fast and refused to what? To let them go. So the children of Israel and Judah were oppressed together. OK, in our press now within a America, when it comes down to these small hats, they'll say that they never forget who they were. All right. Uh, um, they never were oppressed. You know, even the situation dealing with that of, you know, the, the smoke chambers and, you know, things of that nature, the ovens, all of that was a facade. You know, it was fake. It was made up. Isaiah, the 48th chapter. And going to 18. O thou had us, O that thou had us hearken to my commandment, then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the ways of a sea. Thy seed also had been in the so lucky. Thy seed has also had also been as the sand, and thine offspring as the boughs bows like the gravel thereof his name should not have been cut off or destroyed from uh, from before the people go ye forth of Babylon flee ye from the Chaldeans with the voice of singing and with the uh, 
declare ye tell this unto uh so like you tell this utter if even to the end of the earth and ye sh and ye say ye yahweh have redeemed his servants so go forth of babylon all right we're going to be brought out of this land and we're going to be delivered all right with the voice of singing all right declare ye tell this utter it even to the ends of the earth say ye yahweh have redeemed his servant jacob so the true israelites are scattered that's the that's the reason of me grabbing these scriptures dealing with the curse and dealing with you know um the scattered israelites all right now i do have um you know, other verses about three, you know, I'm pretty tired. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. You know, I hope that this lesson was edifying and maybe I can wake up and do a part two. So with that, I hope that this was edifying until the next time. Shalom.